What's going on everyone? My name is Zach Holcomb with Additive America and today I'm here to show you our demo prosthesis that we have here. This is a transtibial socket that we've had printed and designed in-house uh, just to kind of show off some of the different features and things that are attainable when utilizing additive manufacturing for your, uh, your digital workflow and kind of going down that path uh, with your practice and your patient care. So a lot of the features that are done on this could be achieved with traditional manufacturing but uh, you know, cost and time are all prohibiting factors generally when trying to add features like this. So I just want to show you today, take a quick second here, kind of show you around kind of some of the different features that we have on this prosthesis here and kind of give you an idea of what we're working with here at Out of America. So the way that we achieve this shape to start out with is we work with uh, practitioners and folks all around the country and basically we get scanned data from them or they send us a cast, things like that, and then we're able to scan and then create the geometry on the computer and then we build this model on top of that geometry in a program called Geomagic Freeform Plus. If you want more information about that, obviously you're in the right place. We can hook you up with that stuff. So that's kind of how we get to this point here. We've already done the casting. We've already done the check socket the diagnostic socket and everything has gone well through the test fittings and now we're to this point where we're creating the definitive prosthesis. So one of the things that we do at Out of America that we find to be a little unique is instead of using a traditional drop-in or locking mechanism which adds height in the Z to the prosthesis which would kind of make it a little bit larger to print thus increasing cost and time and lead time and things of that material needed plus you would have to then purchase the locking mechanism from the third party company, drop it in and get everything to work. So the way we're kind of doing that and circumventing that to kind of cut costs and make things a little simpler for the patient is on this one we have a distal end, this is our proprietary distal end connector and we're using some uh, fancy schmancy T-nuts in here and basically that's what you're doing to connect your pyramid into your traditional build out from there down. So that's how you're connecting to this, uh, this prosthesis here. Uh, one of the cool features on this is we've got a nice, uh, a good rigid socket where we need it to be. We've got plenty of strength where we want it, but we want a little bit of uh, a little bit of relief in the front here. So we made the prosthesis uh, model, the digital model, just a little bit thinner in the center there, and you can see you probably can't see it, but it allows the uh, the patient to have a little bit of a relief when they're walking and things are firing um, when they're walking and utilizing the prosthesis um, themselves. So. That's one of the features that we've added there. Again, it can be wherever there needs to be relief um, for any particular patient, and that's what's really cool. We're not locked down to specific model sizes or things like that that are, it's not as off the shelf, it's a true custom, custom fit. Um, we were able to add some logoing here, something, you know, we added an Added America logo, why not? Uh, the patient wanted to have a little bit of like some diamond plating look or something like that on the side, so that's what this pattern, the pattern that you'll see here. You've got a uh, pattern basically all over the socket. And again, it just adds a little extra layer of uniqueness, a little, uh, a little way for the patient to express themselves a little bit more and kind of have that pattern. Again, the pattern can be anything. We've done paisley patterns, we've done this type of pattern, we've done textures, we've done camouflage textured. So very, very cool things and cool options there. You're probably wondering what this little uh, device is down here or what this little uh, shape is for. And basically this is the geometry here to accept a uh, this is an elevated vacuum type socket, so you're able to actually uh, accept the valve for, uh, for the elevated vacuum can then just thread right in here. So we printed it with the shape to accept the valve and then we printed it with the threads to accept the valve as well. And so this can go again, not specific to just this one brand of valve, but whatever you're, whatever you're into using, whatever your favorite pro uh, parts and products are to use. Um, that's what's really cool is we can create geometries and then save them on the computer and then use them over and over and over again in a very quick fashion. So we've got again the elevated vacuum right there. That's the location to, to plug in that. And then on the inside, you probably can't see, maybe see, but there's a little lattice structure down on the bottom. So what we've actually got there is more relief at the, uh, at the end of the uh, residual limb. And basically it allows a little pillowing, a little cushioning for the patient and then as well underneath that lattice structure is where the whole reservoir uh, is for the air for the suction. So it's, again, this is a pretty, uh, pretty complex socket, definitely by traditional methods, traditional fashions, but again, with added manufacturing and utilizing software and design skills paired with manufacturing technology and hardware that can produce the product um, in a, qual a qualified material, uh, it really does a really, uh, it, it changes the game in sorts of what you're able to achieve and what kind of care you're able to give to your patient. Uh, again, you can be more specific to their needs. You can allow them to express themselves in different ways that weren't previously possible. And it's just kind of a new take on really an old style. It's, it's kind of the ability for a practitioner to 
actually physically create the socket of their dreams that they think actually can do a much better, more efficient job for the patient. So that's what we've got going on here at Additive America. I just want to take a little quick second here to kind of show you what that is and kind of what we're working with. It's kind of why we're excited about it. If it's something that you feel like you might be interested in learning more about, definitely shoot us an email at info at additiveamerica.com. And don't forget to follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Uh, Instagram, all the fun, fancy things that everybody knows about. Um, check us out on there, whichever one is your fancy, and uh, we hope to see you soon in the future. And again, if you're looking to really give that next step, that next level of care to your patients, especially in your area, you may be one of the first practitioners or first practices in your area that are utilizing a digital workflow like this, and um, it, it provides you quite the marketing advantage when you're walking in and, and putting something on the desk that is a little bit, uh, a little bit different a little bit more uh, efficient in providing care. So that's what we like to do here at Out of America. We like to encourage you to think outside the mold. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much.